Have you ever felt like pushing your luck just a little bit for the thrill of seeing what might happen? Good, me too. In fact, I'm in that mood right now, so I'm actually going to apply for two credit cards on the same day, one right after the other. The ones that I have my eye on right now include the US Bank Altitude Connect Visa Signature Card and the all new Choice Privileges Select MasterCard. So given my current mood and desire to add both of these cards to my wallet, let's go ahead and apply for both, starting with the US Bank Card and see what happens. The application party begins. I'm going to now go over to usbank.com and we'll navigate over to the personal tab here at the top and then down to credit cards and over to view credit cards. Um, let's see what we've got here at the top. That's the new shopper cash rewards card. May do that in the future. We'll see. But for now, I just want to focus here on the there we go. US Bank Altitude Connect Visa Signature Card, 50,000 points, worth $500. Let's see, yep, the annual fee is waived in the first year. Then in year two, it'll be 95 bucks going forward with an awesome reward stretcher of 5421. Let's go ahead and do apply now. Okay, this is totally new to me. I haven't seen this before with any other bank application yet, but it says let's pre-fill your application. That I've seen before, I like to log in and have it pre-fill some text fields for you, but the method they're doing here is quite different. It says if it's okay to text you, we can pre-fill some of your information for a quicker application. We just need a few details to get, to, uh, get started. The first here is your social security number or ITIN and my mobile number. Number, uh, then text me to start. Let me go ahead and do this. I'll type in those two fields, click on the blue button, and then I'll be right back. All right, so we sent you a text uh, to the mobile device that I provided there. Use the link in the text to verify your device. We'll then pre-fill some of your information. Okay, I see that uh, down here in my little dock bar on a one new message. Let me open that up and click on that to go to the next step. Okay, awesome. So now it says, hi, Jeffrey, let's get started. We've pre-filled your information. You'll have a chance to review it before you submit your application. Good. Uh, name is done. Uh, we have now email, housing. They want my housing payment. So that would be either rent or your mortgage. If you don't have one, it says you can enter zero. Then is the country of citizenship. So that'll be the United States of America for me. Let's move this page down a bit further here. Employment and income. So yearly household income, type that in right there. That can be, um, well, here are a few things to be aware of as well. Uh, so income from alimony, child support, or separate maintenance income need not be revealed. And that's up to you. So you have a choice of how much you want to include with your figure. Uh, you probably want to do as high of a figure as you, you know, can do. Then the primary source of that income, a lot of different options here. So choose whichever one represents the bulk of your income. So I'm going to uh, populate those fields here. Then we'll click on save and continue and I'll move on to the next step. All right, on to the next step. Choose if you'd like to transfer a balance. You may uh, pay less interest. Okay, so yeah, if I had a balance on another card uh, that I was carrying over uh, from one month to the next and I was being charged interest on that, I could potentially uh, transfer it over to this card if it had like a 0% promo APR or just a lower interest rate than my other card to save on interest and hopefully use that as a tool to get out of debt faster. Um, only use that if you're in a situation where you have to. Otherwise, yeah, if you just pay your bill in full, which is ideal to avoid interest every month, don't worry about balance transfers. I'm not interested, so I'm going to say no to that and then do save and continue. Cool. So now I think we're on the last step or at least close to it. It says, does everything look correct with a bunch of personal information here, like name, date of birth, SSN, mobile number, personal info is below that as I keep scrolling with my address and all those things. So basically it kind of, again, pre-populated all the stuff I had on file from previous applications I've done with the US Bank. So I'm going to review all this, make sure it all checks out, and then click on save and continue. So it's not a submit button yet. Maybe there's one more step after this. I don't really know. So uh, let me again verify it. We'll click on that and see what comes next if there's one more final step before the actual submit. 
it all checked out. So now we're gonna click right here. Okay, circling, circling, and oh, we got to confirm the terms now. And then here at the bottom, we've got the electronic disclosure notice saying that I'll be receiving the important disclosures, legal docs, etc., electronically versus in paper format. I'm fine with all that. So now it's just all about accepting these terms and submitting this wonderful application. Let's uh, not delay at all and just go right into it. Ready? Boom. Reviewing your info. This usually takes less than 30 seconds. I'll hold them to it. Hmm, okay then. Thanks for applying. You'll hear from us soon. We're looking over your application and may ask you to provide additional info or documents. You'll, you'll usually hear from us uh, by mail once we have a decision, usually in seven to 10 business days. Okay, I'm gonna open up a new tab here and go over to US Bank Reconsideration Line, see what that is, and probably give them a call if they're still available at the time I record this. So there we go from Wallet Hub. Let's give this a go. Hey, good afternoon to you. This is Jeffrey Reese. I uh, just applied for the Altitude Connect card, and I got the pending status saying that you might need more info to make a decision. Okay, what is the application reference number or your social, please? Okay, thank you. And then if I could just have you verify first and last name and date of birth, thank you. And then what is your zip code? All right, thank you. That would just be a brief hold like if that pulled up for us. You got it, thank you. And cue the awesome hold music, which has no bass and doesn't sound that great over a recording. So I'm gonna turn that down. I'll probably cut this video. He's gonna probably going to take several minutes here to pull up everything, my account, uh, my application, all that stuff. So we'll, uh, we shall return momentarily here. Uh, so I was able to pull up your application with the information that you did provide. Right now it's actually just going through normal processing. Just give it about two to three business days. Awesome, sounds good. And will I uh, find out the result by email, mail? How does that typically work? By mail. Awesome. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for it. I do appreciate it. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and go over to wellsfargo.com because there's another card I want to apply for. And why not do two in the same day to see what happens and maybe even get one result at least in this YouTube video for you all to see. So let's go over now to the credit card tab here and down to the Choice Privileges MasterCard. And look at that, we've got two brand new cards. The old uh, Choice Privileges card used to be issued by Barclays, that's been discontinued, and now transferred over to Wells Fargo is the new issuer, and now instead of one, there are two different options here. The one I want is the Choice Privileges Select MasterCard credit card. Right now, uh, with this kind of new card launch, it's 90,000 points when you spend 3,000 bucks in the first three months. I'm going to apply now. Huh, you are now leaving the Wells Fargo website, going over to choicehotels.com now. Although Wells Fargo has a relationship with Choice Hotels, we do not operate their site and the security and privacy policy may be different. Kind of like when I applied for the built MasterCard, uh, also issued by Wells Fargo, but you go to the built site to get the card. So kind of the same thing here. Oops, no podemos encontrar la página que busca, pero podemos ayudarlo a encontrar el camino a su próximo destino. Eh, pruebe los siguientes enlaces para volver a planificar su próximo viaje. Por favor, arregle la habitación. Um, so yeah, my computer's in Spanish, so I get some stuff in Spanish, like web browsers and menus and all that. So they can't find the page that I'm looking for. Uh, but they can help me find my way to my next trip. So of course they want to have me book a room with them. Weird though, I guess the application may not be available. Not really sure, but uh, let me try this some other way. Let's go to Choice Hotels. All right, now we're on the homepage. Uh, Desplazarse abajo para ver promociones. View promotions down below, kind of move down the page, nothing. Uh, maybe I got to go to the English. Oh. Yeah, so when I was in Spanish, it took me actually to the Mexican version of the page. So we can go to US English. They also have US Spanish, which they probably should have done in the beginning, but somehow they got me to the actual uh, Mexico site, which is kind of unique. Y lo más curioso es que el español que yo hablo no es español mexicano, pero de todos modos, aquí estamos. Now, this looks a lot better. So we've got our US site right here. There's a limited time offer. Let's do learn more. Um, sign in below and apply for the MasterCard. So if you, I'm already a Choice Privileges member, yes, I am. So that's good. Same offer, 90K, 3K, three months. Great, okay. So I will sign in right here first just to see if that, again, pre-fills basic 
uh, personal info. Okay, there we go. I'm now signed in. Hi, Jeffrey. And hopefully an approval for this card will help me out a little bit here with my zero point balance at the moment. That's not so great. So uh, let's see. We've now got an orange apply now button for the select version. Let's do that. Uh, let's pre-fill your information. Okay, mobile number and last four of my social security number because they probably have my full SSN on file, I'm guessing, with Wells Fargo, their partners. So let me do these two and then I'll do a uh, submit. And look at that. They're also going to send me a one-time text message with a verification link again, just like US Bank did. So maybe this will be a new trend in the industry. We'll find out. Text message sent. Do not close this page. We sent a verification link to your mobile number. Select the link to confirm your identity and continue to the credit card application. This page will refresh once you complete the process on your phone, okay? Thank you, verification process is complete. You can now close the window and continue to the application, okay? Ah, okay, there it goes. Really long delay, that was probably, I did cut the video here, but it was probably 10 to 15 seconds of just nothing going on, and then it finally refreshed. So just be patient with it if it's slow on your end too. But, and now it's got my mobile number, social security number in full, my name and address and date of birth are below here. I just scrolled around to see what they had. So a decent amount of stuff is done for me, that's great. Let me go down to the part that they still need on my end. So having moved down the page a bit, they still needed my US citizenship, I chose yes here housing status that is own rent or other choose what it is for you employment status that is employed self not or retired total annual income on that line there total annual non-taxable income in us dollars include if you want to round it to the nearest whole dollar it's also an optional field uh, i i don't have any so i won't put that there but if it's you know again your call if you want to include that it's not required uh, then we have important disclosures down here. Below that, we've got the consent to obtain mobile info, electronic delivery for my documents, uh, statements, etc. I authorize the Social Security Administration to verify and disclose to Wells Fargo about my name, SSN, date of birth, etc. Yep, I do authenticate that or allow it. Certifications, e-sign, and then submit. Let me go fill out the uh, remaining fields and then we'll submit together. Done. Let's submit. Three, two, one, and here we go. Loading just a few more moments. I'll be patient. Ooh, how interesting. Confirm your identity. Uh, for security purposes, we must send a code to your mobile phone to confirm your identity. If you do not confirm, uh, your application will go to pending status. Let's do it. Send me a code. Okay, apparently that was sent. I see it down here. Let me go grab that and verify. Loading a few more moments. Ha, ah, yes. Boom. Congratulations, Jeffrey. Your credit card application has been approved. Uh, we got the reference number there, which I'll have covered up by the time this goes live on YouTube. Application status approved. Account number. It shows me the last four, which is nice. The credit line of $20,000. Very pleased with that. So one application in pending status and the other in instant approval online. Not too bad. I'm actually making this video over a couple different days here. That also gave me more time to check my email again to see if there are any updates. I also logged into my US Bank account to see if a new account maybe appeared there, but no new updates so far. I also called Recon one more time today. And again, no update from them. Instead, it would take about another three or four days for the manual underwriting process to go all the way through. So once that outcome is reached, I'll be sure to let you all know what it is as a pinned comment right down below this video. So scroll down a little bit. You should be able to see it there as I keep you all informed. I might also do a community post too. That way uh, you know what US Bank is going to do with me. Meanwhile, here's a rundown of my application summary. Before submitting my application, my credit scores were as follows. 771 on Experian. 803 on TransUnion and 816 on Equifax. For those inquiries, I had 9 on Experian, 5 on TransUnion, and 2 on Equifax. For my newly opened accounts, I had 3 in the past 6 months, 8 in the past 12 months, and 10 in the past 24 months. And just so you know, those figures might be a little bit different from what the banks can see. That is, they might be a bit lower than what you just saw because it has some other recently opened accounts that have not yet reported or shown up on my credit report. My average age of accounts or average length of credit history is currently 4 years, 4 months. And as for my pre-existing relationships with US Bank, I've got a personal checking account, 
personal savings, business checking, and two personal cards with a business card as well. Then on the Wells Fargo front, I have a personal checking account, a personal savings, and two personal cards. After I submitted my applications, I saw the following changes. My Experian credit score dropped five points from 771 down to 776. And my inquiry account went up from nine to 11. None of my other scores were affected because both US Bank and Wells Fargo pulled Experian for my credit uh, application based on my location. Your mileage may vary because they are known to pull other bureaus in other areas too. Also, what was interesting is that even though my score was a 771, the drop of five points occurred after one of those inquiries hit my account. And then the second application, uh, once they both were factored in, I saw no additional drop beyond that. So it was five points total for uh, both applications. And with all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit other people, then please help me get it in front of them by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on those notifications. Also, check out the links down below in the description description area to earn some more cash back when you shop online through Rakuten and to view my site with some great credit card offers that I've organized into different categories to help you find the cards that you like best. I thank you all for watching today's video. Hope it brought you some great value. I look forward to seeing you in the next one and while you're waiting for it to be uploaded to this channel, always remember two things. The first is if you're going for any new cards yourself, always be financially responsible. And number two, remember that you are great.